All right, everyone. So today we're going to feed some adult mealworm to the fishes. All right, everyone. So if you didn't knew already, this is an adult. Um, Millworm. So pretty standard beetle uh, looking creature. Uh, eats almost exclusively millworm and now it's going to be eaten by my fish. So I will have to pre kill some of them and then uh, feed them in little pieces so the fish can act actually eat them and not waste them. So here we go, some uh, pre-kill millworm, uh, no harm done to the millworm, obviously, uh, it, it got much, much, much destroyed quickly, so um, he couldn't suffer anyway. And as you can see, the fish really love to eat those small parts. Um, not sure how nourishing this is, but um, it can really introduce some very cool spawning behaviors. Now the dynamic of this aquarium have changed quite a lot uh, since the removal of both the Colombian and the black slip tetras. Um, but all of those fish being tetras and barbs, um, they are still aggressive feeders just at a much smaller scale. So now let's try that out on the other aquarium. All right, so now it is time for the big guys. All right, that's, oh, there you go, goes, got him. Now for those big fish, I don't need uh, to destroy the beetle that much. Uh, in the other one, uh, in the other aquarium, I really had to squash uh, the poor beetle quite a lot, but not in here. Alright. Giving a little bit more of those. No, we're not here. There we go. Now the Daniels will eat it. Everyone will. And don't worry about leftovers like that. Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, the goldfish are eating the leftovers, so no leftovers. Uh, but um, where are they? The, um, if I can find one. We have three baby um, crayfish without pin pinchers uh, or pincers. Not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, but they cannot arm the fish but they will eat uh, any unheaten food in this aquarium as well as the driftwood so don't worry if um, any dead body hit the floor uh, either the um, these guys the dojo loaches beautiful, beautiful fish either the uh, dojo loaches or the uh, crayfish will eventually eat that out Again, not sure exactly. Oh, hand feeding time. Ah, <laughs> oh, you silly you. So uh, again, not sure exactly how nutritious those uh, mealworm are. Uh, wouldn't feed that as a like exclusive fish food for the fish, but as a little treat here and there. Uh, especially for carnivorous fish such as uh, tetras and barbs. Oh, we have a uh, crayfish right here. Who? He have melted. Oh my god, he's getting big. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're getting fat, boy. <laughs> Crazy. Again, I'm disarming those crayfish so they cannot arm. Uh, any of the fish in here, so don't worry about that So yeah, basically I'm not going to keep um, 
the mealworm for much longer so I prefer to discard of all of them in a natural way um, if it was summer I would have kept them but um, you know outside but I can't so we'll just have to destroy most of them and sell the rest so um, yeah oh my god the dojo loach is going crazy <laughs> oh wow I look super happy looking at this uh, I like I mean it's not cruel it's nature most of those uh, fish would have eaten the uh, beetle in the wild anyway so bite me if you think that's cruel I mean in nature that's what exactly what is supposed to happen now some people are going to say oh there there is no millworm near those fish in the nature blah 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 like I don't care man <laughs> it's a fish eating a bug it's normal if you ever went near a lake you will see a bug hit the, the water and get eaten one way or another so relax Peter no, I'm just, I'm just going to continue feeding until I see the fish get bored of eating it uh, and repeat in a few hours, especially in this aquarium, everyone gets crazy hungry in this aquarium and I mean the um, um, crayfish need to feed a lot, oh my god getting crazy over there. Um, so yeah, the crayfish really will uh, eat all the leftovers, so I'm not afraid to uh, feed too much. Uh, as long as I kill all the mealworm quickly, I think it is pretty a tickle. Uh, I mean, the, the mealworm, never saw it coming, it just, one day it was eating, the other moment he was dead. Oh my god, that crayfish is massive, jeez. Cray cray. Alright, let's get back in here to see if the um, glass catfish will eat. It's a treat to see them uh, around. Oh, maybe the um, this dude is going to try to eat. Alright. <laughs> it's like little piranhas to be honest and they're in the same family as piranhas so well not this dude obviously <coughs> but yeah I wonder if this dude right here is going to eat any doesn't look like it doesn't look like a oh you look interested May have uh, misjudged him. He's going for it. Nope. He's just like, no, I'm out of here. Eat your mealworm like savages. I'm just going to uh, judge you in my corner. Such a sassy fish, to be honest. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised of how much uh, aggressivity there was in this uh, feeding frenzy um, in this aquarium more specifically I wouldn't have thought uh, those small fish to be that much aggressive but in the meantime they are still carnivore so um, yeah alright that's pretty much enough for those guys uh, I don't have really m much bottom dwellers uh, to clean the uh, excess in this aquarium. I mean the uh, checkered barbs will kind of pick at stuff and I do have some bottom dwelling fish for the most part but not sure if they are going to do that much of a great job. Um, they're more like algae eater I would say. Well maybe maybe not that dude but well it's such a weird fish. Um, is he eating? 
I'm not sure. Anyway, the um, Grammys might pick at stuff on the floor. Um, yeah, I guess it's the Grammys. Oh, and the uh, glass catfish might do some work over time during the night. Uh, but I definitely don't want to feed more than the fish can eat. Jeez, you're super greedy, missus. <laughs> Crazy. Now again, some people will tell me, Oh, that's so cruel. Why are you killing some beetles? Those be beetles didn't do anything to you. Well, those beetles are mealworms. And mealworm are cell not to be pet, but to be food. Um, so, what did you expect? They were supposed to get killed by my praying mantis in the first place. And that would have been horrible for all of those guys. So, yeah. Justice in the world. Alright, you guys seem to be still hungry. I have a fresh new little one. Going to give it home. I'm just going to uh, squeeze all the bubble from here. Once the... Uh, oh, there you go. I will mi miss the Daniel's aggressivity, I will say that. Um, <coughs> I'm going to replace them by something pretty similar actually in the future. So uh, don't worry too much, Daniel's lovers. Uh, I'm not going to disappoint. All right, well, food for the crayfish, I guess. Oh, wait. Come back, come back, come back. Sorry, that was a <laughs> bit aggressive. Um, but yeah, I just really need to make sure there is no bubble in their abdomens and then they can get eaten. Um, but yeah, I guess the fish don't uh, seem to be that much interest uh, in the um, mealworm anymore. So I'm going to stop the episode now and I'm pretty sure that Dojo Loach is going to find it. Look at it. She's smelling the fresh blood in the water, I guess. Come on, find it. Find it. Oh, wait. Oh my <laughs> Got it from below. Crazy. Those those uh, gold barbs are super greedy. That's all I'm going to say. And there we go. I guess the last one. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this episode. And... Yeah. Again, I wouldn't recommend mealworm to be the exclusive food for your fish, but a few here and there uh, won't do any harm. At least I don't think so. Um, I know for sure people with piranhas uh, often feed mealworm to the piranhas. So myself, having some uh, very small piranhas, <laughs> uh, I can afford uh, to do so and yeah. Hope everyone have enjoyed this and I will see you all real soon. Bye bye. Oh, he's, he's having his mouth full. Greedy. <laughs>